the Motor City Java House and Cafe. One of the light musters, our goal is to bring folks together from the city and the suburbs in an effort to beautify and recreate, recreate Detroit. Today, with your help, and with Channel 7 and the Bus Up crew, we are going to be removing some negative energy from our community. We're also going to be cleaning up and boarding up three abandoned homes in this area, again, to keep our children safe and to continue to stabilize and revitalize and beautify this city. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to walk out this front door and go two blocks north to Santa Clara. We're going to make a hard right and walk six houses down. We're going to take the tools out of the truck. The very first thing we're going to do is go into the site, and if there's anything on the ground, we're going to clean that up. At that point, we're going to line up 10 people downstairs and 10 people upstairs with sledgehammers, and I will show you which way to go. We're going to remove some walls. We're then going to put a chain on this house, and with a little bit of luck, we're going to take it down and put it into the front lawn. And it's kind of like how you eat an elephant, one bite at a time. How are we going to take this house apart? One swing at a time. But with your help, we can make it happen. Let's go to work. Yo, it seems like here we judge a lot And since we had that fall, I guess they thought we stopped But our time will come around, that's why it's on the clock Cause being at the bottom for so long will make you want the top A lot of pride in the city, with the spirit of many We've been yelling, can you hear me? But it seemed you hard to hear us, so we had to show and prove And we had to make do with the things that we do We ride Cause we gotta keep moving Survival we know too well Hit powerpoints and I exhale I can see our future blessings Funny how my past was in hell Breathtaking moves And I ain't even have to inhale With these wings on our back A lion for our heart In the eye of the tiger You can see it in the spark But you can see that from the start But you know it's how you finish And not really how you start We hope We trying hard to make it We hope We pray who didn't make it We hope Know the future's in our hands. We be building up our city. You can see it in our hands. Deep love, we want 3D. Love, we want 3D. Love, know the future's in our hands. We be building up our city. Oh, nice kick, Take that house. Bad, bad, bad. That's how we make a pole. All right, back to work. Get, get out the street. Let's get back to work. Detroit, obviously, is a city who um, inspired for like so many small independent projects and things of that nature. And when you see like uh, things actually happen in the neighborhoods instead of just select few areas uh, like downtown, midtown, Cork Town, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Because <laughs> like so often, like the neighborhoods, are a little bit left behind, you know, when it comes to like redevelopment and uh, revitalization. So, even though it directly affects the people in this neighborhood, I think it can inspire other neighborhoods as well. So, the bust up is the idea of a, a tweet up combined with actually doing some work. A tweet up originally is the idea of a bunch of Twitter folks who chat online all day and tweet together, getting together in real life and maybe just meeting for the first time. So we looked at tweet up and we looked up what we really need to do in the city. Said, boy, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we had a bust up? So this is actually the second bust up we've done. We've been fortunate to partner with Channel 7 Action News and the Back Channel, which is a Channel 7's Twitter community. And they brought a bunch of people and Motor City Connect and 313D Love brought a bunch of people and you guys have saw the results of it, right? You're looking at it now. Well, to me, I think Bust Up is, is busting up the negativity around the city of Detroit. Um, one of the biggest hindrances we have around here is people's perception. And by people, I mean the people that live here, people that work here, the people that go to school here. 
our own perception about our city. So we're tearing down a house, true enough, but I really think the bus stop is really eliminating the negative, the negative energy, the negative connotation when you think of the city. with Lightbusters because they've been active for over 20 years. Um, they've proven that what they do helps communities. And while it's symbolic and while it's one house today and seven houses over the next few months, if you just heard that big bang, they just finished taking down part of the roof. Uh, the neighborhoods. We've talked with people uh, that live here and they've come by and asked what it was about and they were happy to see that there's some cleaning up and improvement going on in their neighborhood. It gives them renewed hope. This is my second time. Uh, the first one was um, last year, actually through the same event, did the bus stuff. It was good. I mean, uh, certainly not exactly used to waking up early on uh, Saturday morning. Um, <laughs> but like, once you get out here and feel like the positive energy of like so many people getting together, and uh, you just feel energized. You know, I, I will be sore, very sore tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good feeling. It was March of 2007. And we were knocking down a house farther down Lasser. And it was still kind of cold, right? Because it was March and it was a day where they get all these students from University of Michigan. And there's about 900 people and they run five or six different projects simultaneously. And I went to this one house just to watch these 150 people working. And you can't just stand around and watch people work. You gotta go to work. So I was in the house and I was pulling stuff out and it was wild to me. This house had more books than I've ever seen in one place that wasn't a library in my life. And it was really kind of sad because this house in particular had burned halfway down. So it was kind of trash and it was all frozen inside. So we're pulling out all this knowledge. And it was really, really symbolic to me about where I was standing as I looked around and saw all the blighted out housing and all the hope that had been kind of sucked out or burned up, right? So that struck, stuck with me all this time. I'll never forget that first day, and much like I'll never forget any of the times that we spend out here. So Terry Bean and John George of Blightbusters have worked together for five years knocking down houses. We brought Stephen Clark of Channel 7 out a couple of years ago to have a conversation with us and kind of show what's going on. And he did a little tiny story on it. And the next year, Stephen said, he reached out to me and said, I want to do something really good for our community with our community. Can we get together and do something like that? I said, sure, man. Let's, uh, let's go tear down the house. He said, I'm cool with that. So we put together the name Bust Up, got a bunch of folks. Probably had about 100 people out, just like today. And uh, that was it. So, a couple of things. First and foremost, I want to thank our partners, Channel 7, the Back Channel crew. We all did amazing things. Right, the whole idea of what Detroit 2020 stands for, changing the energy in and around Detroit, it is high time that the media got on board with showing the good news and the great things that are happening. And they couldn't have picked a better subject than this man and what Black Bus has been doing. We had some wonderful sponsors that came together today came out and helped and did some wonderful things. Aco Hardware delivered two pallets of stuff. Yeah. Our friends at AbsoPure brought 800 bottles of water. Right. Hey, nobody's leaving here thirsty today. They were also kind enough to donate those shirts that many of you are wearing. Ray Lake, the Motor Village, stepped up, gave us some money. Our friends at TV Fitness gave us some money. I'm going to need somebody to turn around at some point so I can read out the last couple. <laughs> <laughs> Getting gear promotions, you know, reconstruction, always yes, doing good yes, things yes, with yes. Tom O'Brien. <laughs> A couple of 
Some organizations I'm real partial to. Hey, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> hey, Neil, you're standing there. Did you just walk up? <laughs> no, he's been there. He's been there? <laughs> kind of cool. All right, a couple organizations that I'm partial to. Motor City Connect. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Count, but I got it. I got it. It's a 10. I, got I got it. I just need to remember what the math is. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So, 313 D Love, new organization that I'm starting to help this man and other great organizations in town keep making promise. I want to thank this lady, Melissa Flood. over the last two weeks and really organizing and putting this together oh, did a fantastic job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to deal with it. <laughs> Got lots of friends that have been with us for a long time. I look around, I see Renee, I see Paul, I see John, I see Charlie Wahlberg, I see Jason Ryan. You guys are all very, very cool and special, so thank you. I got to make sure... I thank all these who donated a hundred dollars of food. You guys ate a lot of Aldi hot dogs, drinks, Aldi soda. I want to thank Yasna and Harold and their family and their friend Janice who ended up back there a little bit serving us. Thank Ken Schlachter for hooking that up. Forget about King yeah. Cypher and then Sandy. King Cypher and Sandy. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Man, that was some tasty. Food, wasn't it? Somebody knows how to cook back there for sure. And they had clean hands. And they had clean hands the whole time. So that is important. Now, Miss Alicia, thank you so much for making us have this space, allowing us to be in Motor City Java. I don't know if y'all had them yet, but there is a strawberry lemonade banana smoothie in there. Rumor has it it's loaded with crack. <laughs> You're not going to have just one. I just want you to know, there might be a line and a run on those things in a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. Most importantly, thank you for your generosity as I stand here and hand $484 of one cent. You know what, guys? You're going to make me cry. Let me hand this over to the boss. Okay. Hang on to that. Um, I want to thank Terry and Charlie and everybody um, from your side of the aisle. You guys have just been incredible. You know, once we get this house removed, we're going to be able to eliminate that negative energy, spread a little Detroit love, and create a community asset. Kofi, raise your hand real quick. Kofi, can we give Kofi a round of applause? to keep a garden that uh, sprawls over two city lots wet. Because it hasn't been raining a whole lot. I've seen these guys dragging hoses all over the neighborhood. So can we give it up for Kofi and Chris? One more time. And JC, where's JC? JC's around here as well. He's also involved in the Fertile Ground Collective, which is a partnership between Blightbusters, Public Artworks, and Kofi and Company. And basically, guys, this time next year, once we get all that crap out of our neighborhood, out of our community, Kofi and gang is going to be able to expand that community garden into an urban farm. And again, we're going to create the kind of Detroit that all, we all know that we can have if we work hard enough at it. All right, let's take another five minutes to uh, clean up, finish up. If you guys want to get seconds, that's fine. But what I'd really like to do is go back to that site finish dismantling that house and saving as many of the 2x8s and the 2x10s as yeah. possible so Kofi can yeah. use them to build and expand right. the garden. Right. Okay, are there any questions, right. comments, or suggestions? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Does anyone have a rich uncle? Rich. <laughs> All right, let's go to work, guys. Let's eat, and we'll meet you back at the site in 10 minutes. God bless you. And everybody here holds each other down. What you see is what you get Motivated to the fullest Yeah, we reach it out to get And we have proved that saying is true Tough times don't last But tough people always do Detroit We trying hard to make it We hope We pray who didn't make it We hope 
know the future's in our hands. We rebuilding up our city, you can see it in our hands. Deep love, we want great deep love. We want great deep love. Know the future's in our hands. We rebuilding up our city, you can see it in our hands.